Okay, this is my web scoreboard for finish links. Uh, it's configured just like any other scoreboard. This is my Node.js scoreboard with my Node.js script, uh, which is essentially a Results TV script that was just slightly modified. Uh, right now the server listens on port 43278. Uh, that could be changed in the code and changed here, depending on your needs. Results is set to auto and always send place. Paging is a size 24 and max 24, so it's just going to send uh, one page of 24 results, or up to 24 results. And we want to include first name, and we don't need to abbreviate the affiliation. So let's go ahead and start the server. Okay, our server started, and you can see these are my IP addresses. Uh, so 127.0.0.1 is localhost. Uh, it's listening on port 8000 for the web server. So localhost colon 8000. There we go. Pulls up the website. Uh, nothing is loaded. So let's open an event. And when we open that event, uh, the results uh, come right in. Uh, and just like any other scoreboard, if I open another event, uh, the new results will show. Uh, and obviously any changes I make here, I can delete this lead runner and uh, she will come off the results on the website as well. Uh, so pretty straightforward, works just like uh, any normal scoreboard except it's on a uh, web browser. So this is kind of a proof of concept uh, as of now. Um, we will probably use this this year for our announcer uh, so that he can uh, see lap times and things like that uh, as they are happening in finish links. Hopefully at some point in the future uh, we can get this so that it will push out to our uh, live results uh, web page so people can uh, who are watching the live results from a distance can uh, see the results as they happen. Uh, all the code for this is on GitHub and uh, if you have any questions uh, you can drop me an email at uh, chris at chrisabato.com.